where the many roundabouts you are relying on signs to look for signs because they're not raised mm -hmm. there's like white circle painted on the road yep. on the major roundabout if you are going straight ahead <laughs> let's say first exit or second exit mm -hmm. or just going straight ahead, you always signal mm -hmm. left after the first exit gone or after the middle so oncoming traffic will know where you're going yep. where in a mini roundabout is important when you're going straight ahead whether you're going first exit second exit you don't signal okay because it's such a small space you would rather control your steering and that's how other people know you're going straight ahead okay okay that's number two now obviously number three on a major roundabout usually we try to go like a moon crescent we follow moon the left. curb quite left many roundabouts have got a very different layouts sometimes you can't sometimes you just have to go straight okay now mm -hmm. what's common on all of them that all of them as always you always be approaching slowly so your speed should be 20 miles or less and you always be looking early what you don't want that you approach all the way to the end and then look on the last minute no as you're approaching glance and look ahead glance and look ahead is important okay so look early is very very important now the mini on the bars we are going to do today uh, so we have got three mini on the bars coming up ahead now what's important the the layout on the mini on the bars on this mini on the bars, there is no left turning isn't it yeah yep. so it means as you're approaching you're going to be looking at your right if anybody coming or not yep. but this blue car is going straight so they're not coming into your danger zone remember i told you about the danger zone so anybody coming in front of your road is you have to give it to them mm -hmm. so they cannot go to the left because there is no left road over it they may make a u-turn very very unlikely mm -hmm. but if they're not signaling means they're going remember i told you the clue is if they're signaling or not mm -hmm. so this blue car is giving no signal means the blue car is going okay. so what's important to know to understand the layout of the mini on the bars that do we have got any right road or not like in this one mm -hmm. there is no right road that means as you're approaching is an open view so you're looking ahead mm -hmm. you're not looking right but in this one you're looking right because there is no left road but on this one it has got four exits so in this one not only you have to look your right you also have to look ahead if they're coming onto your door anybody from the left should give you the way don't need to worry about it but before you go just glance on your left as well as important okay so shall we try this so i will talk you through first time uh on the mini on the bar. first triangle warning sign around about coming is for every roundabout mm -hmm. but the main sign is a blue one so we're approaching there is no left road over there it has got three exits so by slow approach that's it is a closed view so as you're approaching glance to your right but look ahead don't need to signal mm -hmm. glance again anyone coming no? no and quickly check your mirrors and then build up a speed again does it make sense, it makes sense. and push your speed there was no left turning there so it was a closed view so build up a speed now great you've got early warning coming up for the roundabout in the triangle it's for every roundabout major or the mini ones so we're going down the hill that's it you've got two mini roundabouts coming up can you see that yeah. the first mini roundabout does not have got a right road it's open view so you're looking yeah. ahead anyone yeah. coming yeah. keep using your foot brake yeah. because we're going down the hill and we're going to go around it glance your left but look ahead yeah. keep using your brakes gentle brakes this no go back to brakes and around about glance your right and look ahead anyone coming no yeah. and then quickly build up your speed again but this one have got a right road and now check your mirrors and push your speed to 28 to 29 now please for me so that's it take a deep breath was it a bit more difficult challenge no no it's, it's not difficult it's, it's, it's doable it's okay good as i say to you that your multitasking level will go up usually as a new learner your first seven to ten lessons are very very challenging or you learning a lot because you're observing so much information really yeah. so now let's recap again so we did uh going from here we did three mini roundabouts so the first mini roundabout we did mm -hmm. it did not have the left turn mm -hmm. so you when you're approaching you were mainly focusing on your right mm -hmm. but obviously looking ahead as well in case if that car wants to make a u-turn mm -hmm. so but normally you give it to cars coming from your right but that first mini roundabout had a major wall big wall over there mm -hmm. means is blocking your view 
up until the last second. So as you're approaching, always your speed should be 20 miles or less. You start glancing. Be prepared to stop and do your ladder. Look, assess, decide, and act. But if you feel nobody's coming, you can quickly go as well. Okay. And then after that, there's two more mini roundabouts we did. Now the first mini roundabout, you're going down the hill. Now what you did after the first, after the second one, you try to speed. We don't want to do that because you're going down the hill. We keep using it's called twin roundabout. We need to keep using your brakes up until you pass the, the last mini roundabout. But the the after that, the roundabout we did, the first one, there was no right road. So you're mainly looking ahead. Yeah? But remember, before you go, it's better to glance on your left as well. And whenever possible, we're going to see if we can go around the roundabout. Yeah? If possible. You don't want to go on top of the bend. Obviously, yes. try to do that. This is why we're going to keep using our brakes. Yes. And after that, the other mini roundabout there. So third one, the last one on this road. There is no left road. So you're looking your right, but that right is a partially open view, means you can see nice and early if anybody coming or not. So because we're approaching slowly, you're looking early. If nobody's coming, you can go. Yeah. So we've got a mini on the board coming up. I will tell you again, is a wall over there, slightly closed view. So where your foot should be, that's it, slowing down and glancing, looking ahead. Anyone coming? No. No. And then quickly decide to go pick up a speed quickly and then push your speed now. That's it. Good. There was a first mini on about and it was a partially closed view as well, okay? Good work. So first one, open view because there's no right row, but keep using your brakes. Yeah. More brakes, your speed's slightly high. We're gonna go around a little bit. Just keep Hold using on. your brakes. Bit more brakes, keep using your brakes. And next one again, slow approach, glance. Is he signaling? No. No, so it could be going anywhere, isn't it, yeah? yeah. Look at that, he's not. Now we signal and now you can go quickly. Make sense? Yeah. That's good. So before he wasn't signaling means it could be going anywhere, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, so the next mini on the board, we're going straight ahead, first exit. Mm -hmm. So I have to Yeah, anyone coming? No. So quickly decide quickly and then check your mirrors quickly and then yeah, always check your mirror before I speed up in case of somebody else overtaking you. Yeah. The bars we're going straight ahead. So the first one open or close view. Uh, okay. There is no right road is open, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just glance quickly and then keep going. It's gentle, that's it. Good. Okay, that's good. Well done. So the next mini roundabout coming up is a closed view mini roundabout. We're going to be turning left first exit and it has got four exits. So we're turning left first exit, please. Good. You want to do it by yourself? So lean your body forward. Stay to the left as well though. Gentle. Lean your body forward, Stella, like this. Look ahead as well, that's it, good. Push your speed now quickly, that's it, good. So when you were turning left into this mini roundabout, you looked to the right. What you're not doing, you're not leaning your body forward. Your first line of defense, leaning your body forward. But as you're turning left, look ahead as well. Because what if somebody's coming from ahead, yes. who want to come into your side of the road as well? How do you think you did today? I think I, I am managing, but I need to keep practicing. I yeah. need to be more conscious of what I'm doing because I'm it's new. Okay. I have started to build bad habits, bad habits which I... Yeah, it's not about, about as a beginning. Your speed will get better, better, better. But remember, whenever you're approaching the roundabout, we always, always approach slowly, 20 miles or less, okay? Okay, guys, uh, that's a hectic lesson finished with Stella today. Um, <laughs> you should always know that when you're a beginner, uh, as you start driving more and more lessons, it will get slightly hectic for you guys. But as you do more driving lessons like Stella is doing, it should get ease of it get better as well so it today's status was fourth lesson so next lesson we're going to be doing the crossroad junctions she is doing good obviously she needs a lot of help from me which i'm going to keep doing but hopefully 
we're gonna keep following her journey and hopefully before you know it she will go for a practical test and she will pass on as well okay so keep watching us guys and then please do subscribe my channel and like my videos as well and uh, that means a lot to me so any words from you stella Are you okay um, um thank you raja for the lesson no uh, no it's um, good you you managed to help me a lot and guide me so it's all right that's good okie dokie so that's it guys i will see you guys next time so